reviewing the hoops, reviewing the hoops. I said reviewing the hoops, and here we go. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Jordan Firstman. For those of you who know me, welcome. Welcome home. For those of you who don't know me, that's on you. We're here today because the kind folks at Interview were basically looking for the next male sex symbol. I appreciate it and I'm grateful, but also like, I know it's true. So today we're actually reviewing my staple, hoops, hoops. Yeah. So I just think it's wise to say that we're shooting this a week before the election. So this will come out after the election. So if it feels like flippant that I'm trying on jewels um, when we're in the apocalypse, I apologize. But it also could be hopefully that I'm celebrating by trying on gorgeous, expensive jewels. Let's try on some jewelry. I've never been able to say that. Bulgari. Bulgari? Okay, trying on the Bulgari. I really should have had my ears pierced before this. Ow. Okay, they're in. <laughs> these are popping. I'm really into these. They're simple, they're understated, but they are, they're sparkly. Yeah, you can like really see them glimmering. Shine bright like a diamond. It's really crazy how complicated these are to get on. It's almost like a puzzle. I guess that's the lesson. To get to a place of simplicity and elegance, you have to really go through the trenches. You have to go through the battlefield and you have to stick something really tiny into another thing that's really... There we go. We've lost an earring. <laughs> Bulgari! They won't even let my metaphors land. All right, Bulgari. That is so, <laughs> that is so Eastern European of them. They're Eastern Europe, right? <laughs> is Bulgaria? I know. I did not go to college. Next. Bye, Bulgari. See ya, neva. But still, I will take as many Bulgari earrings. Okay. <laughs> I'm into these. They're a little costumey, but in a way that I'm kind of gagged for. There's something sexual about it too. There's like a chain element. There's kind of an S&M element in these as well. I would love to do like an S&M comedy porn with these earrings. The S&M comedy porn community started rising up in like, I would say 2013, 14 in Georgia, the country Georgia. I think Cartier kind of was, you know, they're always like five to seven years behind the times. And so now it's like, of course, Cartier is doing like comedy S&M jewelry porn. In Paris, I'll just say it, Paris, London, Europe, live comedy S&M jewelry porn sex shows. Hacked houses filled with Aristocracy, the richest people it's in crazy. all of Europe. Ticket prices are like and five to seven K, but it's worth the name of the show is, is Wack. W A K. This is not Blue Man. You feel it. You feel it right away. Be like, Whack. where's the Whack. But blue? Clem, where's the blue? They really want. We're trying to blue. take it to this Vegas and kind of like push the blue that. Man. This is out of the Once and for all. Whack. And that's what's so beautiful about making theater, and why I've dedicated my life to it. If I walked into the room wearing this, people would think that I was gay and was not afraid to show it. We're giving you like, I definitely fuck men. I bottom sometimes, but also I am a man. For a woman wearing it, it's I'm in line in Paris and London to see the S&M show. Hot. Okay. Yes, bitch. Hey bitch. Hey bitch. We're a hundred percent obsessed. This is something. Peace, man. This is what they were going for in the 60s. Everyone thought it was about Vietnam, not wanting to go to war. They thought they wanted to just trip out, man, lose your mind, drop out. But really they wanted to just be fashion, bitch. Late 60s were all about untapped glamour. Fashion, fashion, fashion. Shy, but fashion. It's all about subtlety with me. I really feel at home in these. I think they should actually live like that, giving us like Mickey Mouse vibes. I love these. I think this is how they should sit. Jeremy Scott, I know that name. Does he even know who I am? 
Jeremy Scott, do you even know? Here I am sitting in my gorgeous hoops, undiscovered by Jeremy Scott. So here you go. Here you go, girlfriend. Here I am and I'm ready to serve. World peace, but make it fashion. I love it. This is winning the competition for me. I thought this was supposed to be fun and now I'm just like upset that these aren't mine. It's so cute, but it's also still sexy. It's so much, it's so playful, it's so fun, and it has mushrooms on it, which I famously love microdosing every day, every other day. My video got taken off Instagram of me crying on mushrooms. So this is kind of an emotional thing for me. And I think this is how we get back at the people who reported me. When you're a man and you have your ears pierced, he's either a stud guy, a hoop guy, or then a dangle. Traditionally, I do not go for the dangle guys. I tried to be a dangle guy and it wasn't working, but that was like in an era of like, a dangle guy was like from Tel Aviv. And now a dangle guy is like a straight TikTok weird, something that I don't want to be a part of. A stud guy, I never have fucked with studs. I like, don't like them. I I hate a black stud. It's like some 41, but in the bad way. And then of course, you know, I'm a hoop guy, the traditional hoops. I think that just says like, I'm fun, I'm classy, I'm subtle. I like a thick hoop. A thin hoop is good too. A thin hoop is like, I came out at like in college. And like a thick hoop is like, I came out in high school. And I came out in, I came out before high school, no offense. I love these. The mushrooms. I would love to go to like the gay rave shirtless. I'm trying to think of like what would be on the bottom. I think I could pull off like a big, big diaper and just a bunch of shroom jewelry. That's, that's the new, that's fall 2020, diaper and shroom jewelry. I'm a baby. Thick neck, thick ear, shroom, diaper, spring 2021. So do it while you can. I mean, this is just really classic. When you think Audrey Hepburn, you think Katherine Hepburn, you think Katherine Keener, you think Keenan Thompson, you think Emma Thompson, all of the greats, they would wear hoops like these. I mean, these are so, so major major and in, in the traditional sense big yeah i mean this is just hot like you walk into the club and you see this what do you do what do you do i think the fire department would be called they would come and be like guys 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 no it's fine the fire is supposed to be here it's just from me and my heat levels now we're here and i'd be like you can come hang out come on in I'll take some hot fire, man. <laughs> Story of my life. They're giving me telephone cord vibes. They bring me right back to the 90s. They bring me back to like me taking the phone off the wall and then just like turning around five times, wrapping myself in the cord and just like being on with my girlfriends, Amy, Alana, Jackie, you know, all the girls. My parents are like, get off the phone. They add a second line because I'm on the phone so much and I'm just still wrapped up in the cord for years. I'm like just about to come out and like Jackie can feel it. And so she's like, what do you think of Tyler? Well, I don't know. Like for you, I guess he's like really cute. He's like Jackie. You should definitely like make out with him. That's not something. I would do, or is it? And Jackie's like, you know it would be okay if you did wanna do that. And I'm like, I know, I know that. It's just, I don't wanna do that. Well, you know, you can tell me if you do. And then like two weeks later, I'll call her back and tell her. But then she's already with Tyler. So it's like, it doesn't even matter for me anyway. Why am I even out of the closet if there's no one to even make out with? Like, why did I do this so early? I was obsessed with this like down blanket and I would just bring this down blanket as a cape around my entire house. It was probably filthy, but I would just like sit on my kitchen floor, just like pumbling bags of Doritos, being just like a fat Long Island bitch. 
what would you say now to your inner child? Sup girl, this is me now. Now I'm decked out in really expensive jewelry in my fur bedroom, interviewing for a magazine, honey. And you're gonna be called a sex symbol in that magazine because you said it yourself and they are quoting you. That's manifestation, bitch. Start doing it now, honey, because it works. Baby girl, me, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. So this earring is putting me in my emotions a little bit because it's like making me wonder like, do I want to be called baby girl or do I want to call someone baby girl? Because I'm like, there's baby girl energy and I'm just not sure if it's me or if it's something I want to put on someone. Come here, baby girl. I'm baby girl. I think it's me. <laughs> I think it's me. Okay. I'm going to be honest. When I first saw them, I was like, cool, whatever, earrings. And now that I'm looking at them on camera, like the pink is really popping in the video. Whereas in my hand, I was like, maybe it's too muted. I would almost like wanna be in a crop top in this. Show my tits off a little. International pop sensation, the baby girls. That's us. That's actually Hilary Duff in Raise Your Voice. I've loved this moment since I was 15. It's like so obviously a dubbed singer. <sighs> Hilary follows me, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. It's like obviously an overdubbed singer. She starts with like her Hilary Duff voice and she's like, la 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 la. And then the overdub comes in and she's like, whoa, whoa. And then it goes back to her voice going, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the entire classroom is like, yeah, Hillary, we love you. It's really iconic. I'll send it to you later. Pretty. I'm okay with this. I'm not fully gagged. It's giving me Silver Lake Girl. It's giving me like witchy vibes, but like, she has some money. She like married a tech guy, but she still like goes to Moon Juice and like she has the whole Silver Lake life. She needs you to know that she has some money as well. It's witch, but make it rich. Which rich? Which rich are we talking about? Richard Gere? Richard Dreyfus? Richard, my father? Which rich? Which rich? Wow, I actually forgot what the original meaning of which rich was, but now I'm back. Witch Rich is this girl that lives in Silver Lake that married to Tech. Married to Tech, another show coming to Freeform this fall. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not obsessed. If you like have a feather on you, it's like not campy. Feather is not camp. I said it here first, feather is not camp. Feather is earnest. I just don't have the wardrobe or the personality to pull off any of this. It's stud to hoop to dangle. At first they were like, let's just do a dangle this season. And then they're like, no, we can't do a dangle again. Like, okay, fine, add a hoop to it. I think that's not enough either. And they're like, fine, add a stud too. Just be all of it. Good, I think ship it, ship it out. You can really still send them to me. I will melt them down to use the precious metals to make jewelry that more fits my personality. But I think we're always looking for raw materials in the Firstman house. We're always looking for raw materials. We like it raw here. What can I say? Oh, okay, girls, she's arrived. She's in Tiffany. The moment we've been waiting for, Jordan Firstman is a jewelry icon. She's wearing Tiffany and it fits her like a glove. We have the T for Tiffany earrings. We have a chunky moment. We have a dog tag moment and the New York girls are shaking. They thought, you know what? Jordan Firstman will never be in Tiffany. He'll never be in Tiffany. I'm a Mary Kate and Ashley New York minute. That's what I'm serving in this, but still mask. I'm bringing masculinity back to Tiffany. It got too feminine throughout the years. When they had that breakfast, no one's talking about it anymore. We're done with breakfast. Brunch, bye-bye, 2014. Bottomless mimosas, the door's that way. Lunch, been there, done that. Chopped, sweet green, over it. No more breakfast. We're giving a hearty stew. We're about dinner. We're about community. We're about candles. 
foods were about red wine being passed around. Hearty meats were about a veggie dish, a protein, a carb. We're giving potatoes, we're giving broccolini, seared steak, oven first, then a sear. We're bringing masculinity to Tiffany's. <laughs> Audrey Hepburn and eggs? No, sir. No, sir. It's about seared steak and jewelry. If we're being honest, the trifecta, Tiffany, New York City, Jordan Firstman. Tiffany does not exist without Jordan Firstman. New York City doesn't exist without Tiffany. Jordan Firstman doesn't exist without Tiffany and New York City. One cannot exist without the other. Illuminati, Triangle, New York City, Tiffany, Jordan Firstman. Okay, here we are, Jordan Firstman. Very nice of them to do that. We're loving these hoops. I feel like they, they did this because they want, they want me to be what they think Jordan Firstman is. They want, let's be honest, they want an impression. And so I'm gonna give you an impression. So this is my impression of me not doing an impression for Interview Magazine. Okay, we're good, it's viral. I like these though. Are these diamond? I think certain people buying themselves diamonds is liberating and certain people it's like, do you need that? I haven't bought myself any diamonds because I just simply don't have the money yet. I just can't be making those kind of purchases now. The most I can do is is like a nice dinner with cocktails and wine. I'll splurge on that right now, but I don't think we're at diamond territory yet. And you know, maybe I'll never be at diamonds level and that's okay too. I'm I'm grateful for what I have. It doesn't need to be real for me. It just needs to present as real. We're in a COVID era, no one's going close to your diamonds. People are looking at your diamonds from afar. So if you're having fake diamonds, like it's okay. You can finally wear your fake diamonds, your cubic zirconia. Unless of course, <laughs> you wanna send me diamonds, which then, you know, I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no. It's diamonds going forward. It's initials and diamonds moving forward. End of story. Okay, so this is another Tiffany's moment. We're in Tiffany's. It's gorgeous, right? Like you can feel, you can feel the weight. I'm kidding, it's Claire's. Did I make you think it was Tiffany's? Is everything a construct? Did I fool you? Do you know what up is and what down is? Wow. This is like a very traditional like gay guy. <laughs> This is just gay. We're going to the mall with the gays and it's like, should you? It's like, yeah, like, like it would be so hot. Like it would be, no, you have to do it. Like it's so hot. Like the girls would gag and then they do it. And like they post to Instagram and it does look hot. And we love, we love those gays. We love mall gays. There has to be room for all types of gays and mall gays exist, okay? If you're gonna take away one thing from this video today, it's that mall gays exist and they deserve love, okay? Mall gays are having a tough time with all the, all the malls closing. They're like, where do we go? A lot of them have moved to uh, the Midwest. You know, they'll live in uh, Denver for a few months and then they'll move to Akron, Ohio. They call them mall chasers now. They're kind of like leaving the big cities and going across the country, chasing malls as they close. You think that they're, they, they're homebodies, but they're really, they're nomadic. I'll give you one impression and it's just actually a look, but this is my impression of a gay person. Cancel me now, but actually don't, I need, I need you guys here. You're all I've got. You're all I've got.
Some would say these are hoops, but to me, this is a different genre, it's stars. There's hoops, dangles, studs, and there's stars. Only the stars can be the stars. And Claire's kind of invented that. We love Claire. I wanna say to all of the people doing those ear piercings at Claire's, you're doing God's work and you're helping little girls become women and you're helping little gay boys become gays. You are essential workers, okay? So don't give up, keep piercing those ears. You're saving the world. Okay, people, sadly this video is coming to an end. I've picked my favorite piece. We all knew this was coming. We love her. We love this mushroom girl. This was so fun. I got to try on things that I can't afford. And maybe one day I'll be able to buy them with my own money. But until then, please send me free things. I would really, really appreciate all of these items being gifted to me. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your kindness. And thank you to the jewels. All of the jewels, even the singer. We love you and we praise you. Bless you, jewels. I am 100% about these. I'm 100% that bitch. I'm 100% that Quran. Go off Quan. I'm that girl. I'm that boy. I'm that grandma. I'm that aunt, uncle. I'm the whole family, bitch. I'm an entire lineage, bitch. Bitch, I date back to the 17th century, girlfriend. The ancestors are shaking in their boots. I do wanna say, for the camera, there is an Instagram page dedicated to finding out where these hoop earrings are from. It's at Jordan Firstman's earrings. I don't know who's behind it, but they have not even gotten close. They've been trying for four months now, but I welcome anyone to the journey of finding out where these are from, because they are available. And goodbye to all the young, hopeful gay men, gay boys watching this video thinking, will I ever get to wear a mushroom hoop dangle earring? Maybe, maybe not, but maybe so. It's attainable. You gotta want it though. You gotta want it. You can't be a mall gay. We love mall gays, but if you're gonna get to this place, you can't be a mall gay. But you can do it. You can do whatever you wanna do, young gay. Goodbye, young gay. Goodbye forever, young gay.